It is my privilege and delight to introduce the Canote brothers, Jerry and Greg. That's Jerry on the guitar over there and Greg on the fiddle over here. The jewels of our country's upper left-hand corner. Many years ago, I was introduced to their music from a syndicated radio show KCSN carried at the time called Sandy's Potluck. Anybody remember that show at all? All right, there we go. There's somebody that's as old as I am. Uh, <laughs> this show was a folky humor and variety show coming out of Seattle featuring Sandy Bradley and the Small Wonder String Band comprised of Greg on fiddle, Jerry on guitar, and both on vocals. I have been a fan ever since. And I believe after hearing them today, you'll become one too. Please welcome the amazing Canote Brothers. We're going to start out with a tune from a, a band that was recorded in the 20s called the Georgia Yellowhammers. And it's a little tune about uh, southern hospitality. And you can help us out on the chorus. The chorus goes, eat your breakfast before you start. Bring your dinner in your hand. And leave before supper time. Well, I went out one cloudy night and the moon was shining bright. I spied a great big possum boy as he was out of sight. Oh, won't you come out and see me sometime? Come out and see me sometime. Each break before you start, bring your dinner in your hand and leave for supper time. I went back home, I got my ex, I cut that gentleman down. Now won't we have a big supper, boys, when the possum hits the ground? Won't you come out and see me sometime? Come out and see me sometime. Each break before you start, bring your dinner in your hand. Leave for supper time. Think she said, she said, I'll be ready to marry you when all of the rest is dead. Well, won't you come out and see me sometime? Come out and see me sometime. Each break before you start, bring your dinner in your hand. Leap for supper time. My uncle caught an old catfish. He taught him how to walk around. This catfish got so used to being on land, he fell in the river and drowned. Won't you come out and see me sometime? Come out and see me sometime. Each break for a start, bring dinner in your hand, leave for supper Southern people are very slow in country and in town. And when they bake their cornbread, it certainly is baked brown. Won't you come out and see me sometime? Come out and see me sometime. Eat your bread before you start. Bring your dinner in your hand and leave for supper time. The northern people are very fast, they certainly fall with Jack. They never have time to eat a meal, they always grab a snack. I oh, won't you come out and see me sometime, come out and see me sometime. Eat the bread before you start, bring your dinner in hand and leave for supper time. I won't you come out and see me sometime, I won't you come out and see me sometime. Eat the bread before you start, bring your dinner in your hand, leave for supper time. Great to warm up on that one. <laughs> well, Jerry, are you feeling uh, feeling gappy? Uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> We're gonna do a version of the Cumberland Cumberland Gap, and uh, Jerry's got to get his uh, his harmonica on his attached to his face. Okay. He had special implants. I can do this. <laughs> 
I, I, I think my head is losing. It looks kind of like torture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Harmonica was pr uh, probably the, one of the first instruments that Jerry learned to play, and the first thing he learned was never uh, take a walk on the beach and drop it in the sand, because yeah. you'll never get your harmonica back. No, 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 no. <laughs> that, you were sounding a little bluegrassy there, Greg. I was going for Cajun, but it, that, yeah. I'll take bluegrass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. What are you thinking, Jerry? Why don't we uh, ain't a bit drunk? Yeah. Let me get my other fiddle here. This is a little virgin, virgin, <laughs> little version of Cindy. And it comes from Alabama. Anybody from Alabama here today? <laughs> oh, then you know what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs>
When she seen me coming, she wrung her hands and cried. Yonder comes a booger man, well I run and hide. I ain't a bit drunk, 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 I ain't a bit drunk, 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 I ain't a bit drunk, 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 I'm just from Alabama, I ain't a bit. I ain't a bit, I ain't a bit, I mean just what I say. She hugged me and she kissed me, called me sugar plum. Through both arms around my neck like vines around the gum. I ain't a bit drunk, drunk, drunk. I ain't a bit drunk, drunk, drunk. I ain't a bit drunk, drunk, drunk. I'm just from Alabama. I ain't a bit. I ain't a bit. I ain't a bit. I mean just what I say. Oh, where'd you get your whiskey? Where'd you get your dress? Got it from a pretty girl away in Alabama. I ain't a bit drunk, drunk, drunk. I ain't a bit drunk, drunk, drunk. I ain't a bit drunk, drunk, drunk. I'm just from Alabama. I ain't a bit. I ain't a bit. I ain't a bit. I mean just what I say. a little tune I tacked on there called the, the Hickory Smith. Well, I think we should do something uh, a 
little bit swingy. Man. Yeah, we should go into the swingy direction here. This is um, this is one that came from uh, Ernest Tubb and Red Foley. And uh, I, you know, as we get older, we relate to this song more and more. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I love when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> what key are we in? Okay. <laughs> that was a B. That was a B. <laughs> okay. A one, two, three. It ain't the age on this old boy's frame, it's the mileage that's slowing me down. Been a picking up speed, been a moving too fast, been a traveling all over town. Well, your fan belt's busted and your horn won't blow, body's rusted and your timing's slow. It ain't the age on this old boy's frame, it's the mileage that's slowing me down. I know what you're talking about, Jerry, it ain't the age on this old boy's frame, yeah, the mileage is slowing me down. I better go around curves, the climbing up hills, really been making the rhyme. Oh, your battery's oh. failing, you need a coil. Your front wheel bearings are throwing out oil. I don't think that's oil. It ain't the age on this old boy's frame. Yeah, the mileage is low and be down. All right. It ain't the age on this old boy's frame, it's the mileage that's slowing me down. Been picking up speed, been moving too fast, been traveling all over town. Your fat belt's busted, your home won't blow, body's rusty, then your time ain't slow. It ain't the age on this old boy's frame, it's the mileage that's slowing me down. Train, yeah, the mileage, the mileage, the mileage, slowing me down. Going around curves, <laughs> climbing up hills, yeah, I've really been making the round. Oh, your battery is failing. You need a coil. Oh, your front wheel bearings are throwing out oil. It's oil this time. <laughs> it ain't the age on this old boy's frame. Yeah, the mileage is slowing me down. It ain't the age on these old frames, it's the mileage that's slowing us down. Men are wearing out brakes and skidding out tires, maybe our valves should be ground. Your gas tank's empty, your lights are weak, your shock cubs over is only groan and squeak. It ain't the age on these old frames, it's the mileage that's slowing us down. 
Well, we're not geared up to go too fast, but we get more miles on a gallon of gas. It ain't the age on these old frames, it's the mileage that's slowing us down. We're really smoking, the mileage that's slowing us down. We're almost croaking, the mileage that's slowing us down. <laughs> Can anybody relate to that song? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I think we might ha have to go pick it up a little bit here, Jer. Oh, what do you got in mind? Uh, oh, I don't know. I want to do... Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for that request, David. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we love it when we don't have to look at the set list. Yeah. So here's one you can help us out on. Greg will sing a verse that outlines a social situation in which a question arises, and your job is to shout out the question. Yeah, yeah. And we'll give you all the answers. Foolish questions, you'll hear them every day. Now, you've all heard the foolish question. And you no doubt wonder why Now a person will ask you a foolish question And expect a sensible reply Like when you take your girl some candy Say maybe just after tea Now the first thing she'll do is wrinkle up her nose And ask Is that for me? <laughs> foolish question you might as well reply, no, I bought that candy for your ma or pa, or it's for some other guy. I just wanted you to see it, and, and now I'm going to take it away. Now, wasn't that a foolish question? You'll hear them every day. So you get how this song works? We, you, you come up with the question, and we'll give you all the answers. Well, then there's the fella who's always hanging around your place. And he watches you take your shaving brush and start to lather up your face. And as you give your razor one preliminary wave, this guy's going to walk up and ask you, Hey! <laughs> Foolish question. Your answer is, I hope, no... I'm not prepared for shaving. You see, I just love the taste of soap. I kind of like to take the shaving brush and just kind of paint myself up this way. Now, wasn't that a foolish question? You'll hear them every day. Okay, let's see. Now, suppose it's late one evening and you're lying in your bed. And you got the blankets over your body And the pillows are under your head And just as you enter dreamland And you're sinking really deep Some fool's gonna barge right in and holler <laughs> Foolish question You sadly answer no I I'm afraid it's much more serious, you see I died two hours ago, so if you'll just fold my hands on my chest and just tiptoe quietly away, now wasn't that a foolish question? You'll hear them every day. Okay, here's my favorite verse. Now suppose the elevator person should forget to close the door, and you should tumble down. Oh, say, 47 floors. And as you reach the bottom, and you're lying there inert, some fool stick his head down the elevator shaft and holler. <laughs> Foolish question. Your dying words are no. I was just in an awful hurry, and this elevator's just too slow. Usually saves a lot of time. Oh, when you, when you come down this way. Now, wasn't that a foolish question? You'll hear them every day. Are you okay, Greg? At least I died sitting up. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, me and my brother here, we are alike in so many ways. Like receding hairlines and creases in the middle of our foreheads. So I'm always amazed, because we'll be sitting up here singing and just smiling our identical grins, and someone's bound to come up and ask us, Hey! <laughs> Foolish questions. We, we look, look them straight, straight in, in the, the eye. eye. No, actually, I got plastic surgery, so it looked just like this handsome guy. Or no, we have this terrible new disease. Yeah, and pretty soon you're all going to look this way. Ah. Now, nah, wasn't that a foolish question? <laughs> You'll hear them every day. That was a foolish question. You'll hear them every day. Give yourself a hand. Thanks for helping us on that one. And that's the thing about that song. You start noticing all the foolish questions that you get asked. Did you do something like um, Calico Black Mountain Rags or something like that? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, you want to do a tune? Yeah, yeah let's play, play a fiddle tune. tune. <laughs> we'll do a little fiddle tune here. Uh, this is... Uh, one from a, a band, a Mississippi band called the Spoonie Five. And uh, it's a version of uh, the Chinese breakdown. They called it the Chinese rag. Well, that will never do. <laughs> That was a great feeling, Greg. <laughs> Who you, started that too? How do you do that? <laughs> well, you put this finger in this place some of the time. Yeah. And then you lift it up some of the time. What do you do with the other hand? And then you move the stick back and forth. Oh, man. Works every time. That's simple. <laughs> We're going to do one uh, from a, one of our favorite singers of the 20s. His name was Ukulele Ike. And... Um, and he uh, had a lot of hits in the 20s, and on into the 30s, he was the voice of Jiminy Cricket. Cliff Edwards. Cliff Edwards. Yeah. And uh, we're big Cliff Edwards fans. 
we got to visit his grave while we're here. <laughs> okay. So this is one you might have heard before, but you never hear the introduction, so we're going <laughs> to do it. Love, 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 what did you do to me? The things I never missed are things I can't resist. Love, 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 isn't it plain to see? I've just had a change of heart, what can it be? She's got eyes of blue. I never cared for eyes of blue, but she's got the eyes of blue, and that's my weakness now. She's got dimpled cheeks. I never cared for dimpled cheeks, but she's got the dimpled cheeks, and that's my weakness now. Oh my, oh my, oh me, oh I would be good, I should be good, but she, oh but she, she. Likes to bill and coo. I never like to bill and coo, but she likes to bill and coo, and that's my weakness now. All right. a rainy day. Oh. I never cared for a rainy days, but she likes a rainy day, and that's my weakness now. She likes a vestibule. Uh -huh. I never stood in a vestibule. Say, what the heck is a vestibule? And that's my weakness now. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Oh, me. I can hear the clock striking one, two, three. One, two, three. She likes a long good night. Oh, I never had a long good night, but she likes a long good night, and that's my weakness now. All right. A Chevrolet. I never had a Chevrolet, but she likes a Chevrolet, and that's my weakness now. She likes to drive in a certain way. I never drove in a certain way. She likes to drive in a certain way, and that's my weakness now. Oh my, oh my, oh me, oh I would be good, I should be good, but she, oh but she, she. Likes to park and play. Oh, I never like to park and play. I guess we better park and play. Cause that's my weakness now. Yes, that's my weakness. <laughs> Let's do uh, Wahoo. Cliff Edwards had the hit on that in the late 20s. Well, Jerry's gonna get out his little ukulele. Uh, any ukulele players in the crowd? Yay! Yay! They're everywhere! <laughs> I think the ukulele is the best thing that ever happened. Play. It kind of, uh, every town now has a ukulele club. You can go and learn, and people will help you, and the teacher chords, and then you can do, you can learn three chords in about a half an hour, and then you can play about a hundred songs. It's really great. <laughs> And people love to get together and sing. And Jerry, I, Jerry always says that uh, the ukulele gave music back to the people. <laughs> it's a great thing. <laughs> yeah. Here, here. 
Well, this is a this is a tune that was recorded by Bill Boyd and his Cowboy Ramblers, and uh, you know they had a whole band, and uh, we just got us two. So Jerry's gonna play the uke, and we're both gonna sing. But we decided that this song needed a bass player, and and, uh, and we didn't have one in the band until Greg searched his voice high and low <laughs> and found an unusual bass. It kind of, it sounds kind of flatulent to me, but um, <laughs> it's the mouth bass. Let, okay. let me warm up a little bit. Okay. okay. Give me a horse, a great big horse, and give me a buckaroo, and let me wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Give me a horse, a great big horse, and give me a buckaroo, and let me wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Give me those wide open spaces. I'm just like a prayer flower, growing wilder every hour. Give me a turkey and a hunk of beef jerky, dish up the doggies too, and I'm a wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. I never could sing a high-class thing, good music I never knew, but I could wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. I never could dance, cause when I dance I ruin the lady's shoes, but I can wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. It's just a gift from the prairie. You shadow in a bad magic, mighty good for calling pigs. I never could speak a word of Greek, I never could shooby dooby doo, but I could wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Just big chance, Greg, don't blow it. Thankful you weren't sitting too close up here. <laughs> Jerry usually has to have a little shower. Well, he had a little shower. He had yeah, to he dry off there. a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking, thinking we should do an old time song. Yeah. Oh, down in the old hometown. That's a great idea. And I love it when you listen to an old 78 because you hear lots of great uh, voices. And Oscar's voice, I wish I could do Can it. we imitate this one a little bit? What it sounded like on the 78 when we scraped it off? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, that's exactly what it sounded like. And so, but we scraped off the words and we, and we got this song. <laughs> well, 
Well, I got a gal and her name was Sue Down in the old hometown There ain't nothing that gal wouldn't do Down in the old hometown She chews tobacco and she dips stuff too She'll get drunk on old homebrew She'll get drunk on old homebrew <laughs> Down in the old hometown Oh, down in the old home, down in the old home, down in the old hometown, the sweetest girl in all the world. She lives in the old hometown. I went to see my gal most every night Down in the old hometown Driving my Ford was her delight Down in the old hometown Well, we had a date for half past eight When I drove up to her gate Another fella had her in a Cadillac gate Down in the old hometown Oh, down in the old home Down in the old home Down in the old hometown the sweetest girl in all the world She lives in the old hometown I got me a job on a country farm Down in the old hometown the work was easy, but the weather was warm Down in the old hometown They sent me out to milk a cow I never had milk, I didn't know how I tried to milk that daddy cow Down in the old hometown Oh, down in the old home Down in the old home Down in the old hometown The sweetest girl in all the world she lives in the old hometown I asked that gal to marry me Down in the old hometown She said she had to ask her old daddy Down in the old hometown I told the old fella that I loved her well We was just a-waiting for the wedding bell The old fella told me to go to Down in the old hometown Down in the old home Down in the old home Down in the old hometown The sweetest girl in all the world She lives in the old hometown I know, I know the girl you're talking about. <laughs> Riley Puckett was a wonderful guitar player. Um, you, when you hear when you hear those wonderful bass runs uh, in old time music, it, everybody, all the guitar players owe something to Riley Puckett. I love on the old uh, Skillet Liquors records. They'll say, "Play that mean r run again, uh, Riley. Riley," and they'll just play it. The same run in the wrong place, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what Jerry does. That's what I do. <laughs> so, uh, th but this is one that uh, I, I kind of uh, associate with Riley. Uh, I'm getting ready to go. It's kind of a reverse gospel song. And it, this was written by Carson Robeson, uh, who wrote a lot. He was kind of a... Uh, in between old time music and Tin Pan Alley. He, he wrote a lot of great songs, a lot of, um, he wrote, Life Gets Tejus, Don't It? So, anyway. <laughs> I had a dream the other day I'm, I'm getting ready to go Well, the devil come and he took me away I'm, I'm getting ready to go I always heard that place was hot Ask him if it was or not Well, he wouldn't say yes or no or what I'm, I'm getting ready to go Sweet home, loving heaven, heaven Sweet home, hear me moaning low Sweet home, loving heaven, heaven, 
Hold the gates wide open, cause I'm getting ready to go. He took me down to old Haiti, I'm getting ready to go. I fell in the brimstone up to my knees, I'm getting ready to go. Well, y'all to see all the little devils prance till I showed them a brand new dance and a pitchfork stuck me right in the pants. I'm getting ready to go. Sweet home, love in heaven, heaven. Sweet home, hear me moaning low. Sweet home, love in heaven, heaven. Hold the gates wide open, cause I'm getting ready to go. I asked when I'd get out again, I'm getting ready to go. He looked at me with a devilish grin, I'm getting ready to go. Well, he said, I'll tell you a joke. When you go out, you go up and smoke. You go up and smoke. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> Sweet home, love and heaven, heaven. Sweet home, hear me moaning low. Sweet home, love and heaven, heaven. Hold the gates wide open, cause I'm getting ready to go. Oh, that awful dream I had, I'm getting ready to go. It left me feeling mighty bad, I'm getting ready to go. Well, I took my Bible like a mouse, take a cheese, I fell right down my sinful knees. Now I got more religion than a dog, God, please, I'm getting ready to go. Sweet home, love in heaven, heaven, sweet home, hear me moaning low. I'm getting ready to go. Well, I said, hold the gates wide open, because I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Riley Pocket. I think I ought to play a fiddle tune here, brother. Okay. So um, I was thinking of a tune. Actually, this comes. This is a tune that comes from, of all places, Pennsylvania. But there was quite a lot of fiddling. In, in the Pennsylvania area, and uh, there's a, collect, a collector, uh, what, was it, what was his name? Uh, Bayard. What Samuel was, Bayard. Samuel Bayard. Yeah. And this is one, a tune that was in his collection. Uh, he transcribed it from a fife player and a fiddler, and it's called The Old Hometown Band.
right, well, um, you know, our musical interests kind of range far and wide, and we're, we're big fans of the novelty number. And uh, where did this song come from, Jerry? Merle Travis. Merle Travis had, had some novelty number hits if you're a Merle Travis fan, and his, of course his guitar playing. But he had some great songs, and uh, this is one from him. <laughs> Merle Travis. Oh, When my baby does her double talk to me I get just as happy as I can be Happy? Happy. Happy. And every time I hold her hand We're in another land With the language only we can understand And when I see the love light Shining in her eyes You know it brightens up My private paradise And when she says Oh honey, do you love me true? I say, no baby, don't you know I do When my baby does her double talk to me When my baby, old baby does her double talk to me a fee then I give it just us as half happy as I can be. Half happy? Half happy! <laughs> and every time I find my whole folder half and we're in another laugh hand. With a laugh hand, which old only we if he can understand. Half half hand. And when I see a feed the love of loud fire, shall find it in her eye of fire. You know, a brow fightens up my own proud fire, but paradise fire. And when she says, oh, how funny do you love of me true? I say, oh, baby, baby, don't you know I do? But when my baby, oh, baby, does her duff, oh, will talk off to me, please. Dickadaby does ducky double talk and talk to me a day. Then the gicky dick jucky does as hack a dappy as I can be. Hack a dappy? Hack a dappy! Hack a dappy! And every time I'm a whole get over hack a dang. We're in another lack a dang. With the lack a dang, a joke could only we can eat and under tack a dack a dang. And when I see a dee the lucky dove like a dash, I shack a dang and in her I can die. You know what bracket I was up on, bracket I'm a pair and I can die. And when she says, well, huck a dunny, do you luck it me true? Well, the old baker baby, don't you know I do good? When my baker daker baby does her ducky double talk, talk to me, a dee, dee. When my baker daker baby does her ducky double talk, talk to me, a dee. <laughs> Greg, that's Thank amazing. You. How do you do that? That's easy for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Merle Travis, wonderful. Hey, how much time do we got left? Anybody know? <laughs> we'll just keep playing till the yank is out. I love that. Yeah. Why do you sing it? Yeah. In the uh, in the uh, Western swing world, of course, Bob Wills is uh, is uh, the the go-to guy. But uh, he had some brothers, and uh, Billy Billy Jack Wills had some hits. He was a little more swingy than uh, than Bob, and uh, 
If you can, if you can find some of his stuff, he had a great uh, hit on a song called "Crazy Man Crazy." Um, but this is one of his tunes called "What Did I Do with That Thingamajig." Well, I've got to find that thing in my jig. I've got to have it to fix my rig. Ain't no bigger than a bug is big. What did I do with that thing in my jig? Is it round? No, it isn't brown. Is it round? No, it isn't round. It ain't brown. It ain't round. It don't make any sound. It's just a little old thing. Oh, is it square? No, it isn't square. Does it flare? No, it doesn't flare. It ain't square, it, it don't, don't flare. flare, it ain't shaped like, like a pear. pear. It's just a little old thing of my jig. It's just a do that thing of my bob. A do my fidget, you twist like a knob. What you might call it fastened down with a sprig. It's just a little old thing of oh, my jig. Oh, is it flat? No, it isn't flat. Just like a man. No, not like a man. It ain't flat, flat like a man. It's no bigger than that. It's just a little old thing of a jig. All right. Well, I've got to find that thing in my jig. I gotta have it to fix my rig. Ain't no bigger than a bug is big. What did I do with that thing in my jig? Well, is it brass? No, it isn't brass. Oh, how about glass? No, it isn't glass. It ain't brass, it ain't glass, but a lack and a lack. I've got to find that thing in my jig. Oh, is it stone? No, no, it isn't stone. Oh, is it no, it doesn't groan. It ain't stone. It don't groan. It ain't button a bone. It's just a little old thing of my jig. It's just a do that thing of my bone. Do my fidget twist like a knob. What you call it? Fasten down with a sprig. It's just a little old thing. Of my well, jig. is it tin? No, it isn't tin. Does it spin? No. It doesn't spin, it ain't tin, it don't spin, but if you are my friend, please help me find that thing in my jig. All right, Craig. To find that thing of a jig, I got to have it to fix my rig. Ain't no bigger than a bug is big. What did I do with that thing? Say, of my jig? Is it round? No, it isn't round. Is it round? No, it isn't round. It ain't round. It ain't brown. It don't make any sound. It's just a little old thing oh, of a jig. It's square. No, no, it isn't square. No, it's flat. No, it doesn't flare. It ain't square. It don't flare. It ain't shaped like a pear. It's just a little old thing of my jig. It's just a do that thing of my bar. 
Jim, I flitch it, twist like knob. What you ever call it? Pass it down with a sprig. It's just a little old thing, oh, my dear. Oh, is it flat? No, it isn't flat. Just like a mat. No, not like a mat. It ain't flat like a mat. It's no bigger than that. It's just a little old thing, my jig. All right. Thank you very much. We'll know it when we find it. Yeah. I always think that's a song about garage sailing. Yeah, I think, I think that's what that's about. So this is one uh, from Uncle Dave Macon. He was a star in the Grand Old Opry. And uh, one of our favorite singers. If you go, uh, this one's called Take Me Back to That Old Carolina Home. If you go to YouTubes, you can watch him and his son Doris sing this on the stage of the Grand Old Opry. Well, me and my brother started out the other day Studying the plan how to get away Night come on, caught us in the dark Waiting for the Chesterfield train to start Conductor was standing by the road When he hollered to his passengers all aboard Then reached up, made the bell ring Blangle, blangle, blangle with the banjo string Take me back Take me back Take me back oh, Take me back to that old Carolina home. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Just take me back. Take me back to that old Carolina home. Night come on, caught us in the dark Waiting for the Chesterfield train to start Great big rounder sitting on top Look out boys, the trains are gonna stop Take me back Take me back Take me back Oh, take me back Take me back to that old Carolina home Take me back Take me back Take me back Yeah, take me back Take me back to that old Carolina home Well, the train pulled on to the very next stop. I looked around, saw 17 cops. Caught the heel all to see me run. Bang a bang a bang, I went the Gatlin gun. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Oh, take me back. Take, take me back to that old Carolina home. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back to that old Carolina home. We got time for one more. Thanks for uh, hanging out in this beautiful it weather. Like the sun is just about to poke out here. It, it's perfect weather for <laughs> for uh, sitting outside. And uh, thanks for listening to us. We're the Canope Brothers. Uh, we come from Seattle, Washington. And we'll be uh, hanging out over at the uh, CD booth there if you want to come by and say hi and look at CDs. Okay, here's one that talks about. Um, <laughs> Being twins. No, it doesn't really talk about being twins. But we have, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of weird. And uh, we do this, we're happy all the time. So it's just, just really good drugs. So that, no. so that, that, that song talks about, uh, this song talks about some of the, some of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I live with my family in a big old house. It's a nice house. It's a very nice house. In the spring, we put a little garden in the back. Good food, fresh air. There's nothing we like. We sit on the porch. We side by side. We sing a little song. Take a ride. We hop in the Chevy. Go down to the store. We drive back home and we sing a little more. Cause we're happy. Happy, 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 mama. Give me that broom. I'm so happy I can clean my room. The windshield's falling out of my car And the tires are bald Very bald And the steering and the engine Ought to be on the shelf If you drive the thing Boy, you're gonna kill yourself But I don't care If the whole car collapses And I'm sitting in the road With it in my lap If I'm counting my fingers Still got five Gonna play this guitar Sing this jive About being happy Happy, 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 happy Happy, 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 happy Mama, give me that broom I'm so happy I can clean my room Oh, Now if your happy day comes once a week, that's a real treat. You're on easy street, and if your happy day comes every once in a while, the only thing to do is just sit back and smile. And if your happy day never seems to come at all, it's time to get loose and have a ball. Lord knows there's plenty of time to feel bad. So just be happy. Happy, 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 happy mama. Give me that broom, I'm so happy I can clean my. Give me that broom, I'm so happy I can clean my. Give me that broom, I'm so happy I can clean my room. Happy, happy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thanks, folks. folks. <laughs> Pleasure to play for you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Canote Brothers. You guys want to hear one more quick one? All right. We got one you can help us out on. Uh, you can just do what Greg does. And Always be, a good idea. Yeah, so. <laughs> this is for all our canine friends out there. I'm going to dedicate this to Susan Michael's dog, Maisie, who's just <laughs> the most beautiful dog you ever saw. Okay. Oh, I want to be a dog. I want to wag my tail. Knock over garbage cans by the lady who brings the mail. Oh, I want to be a dog. I want to drool on the floor. Everybody drool, come on. Get pats on the head, chase cats, get fed, chew your shoes, and bark at the door. Oh, I want to have dog breath. I want to learn to growl. <laughs> Scratch fleas and ticks. Run after sticks. I want the moon to make me howl. Oh, I want to be a dog. I want to dig big holes. I want to sniff French poodles and basset hounds and pee on telephone poles. <laughs> I want to be a dog. Thank you, Greg. I want a big wet nose. You already got one. <laughs> I want to run in the street, get mud on my feet, and jump up onto your clothes. Oh, I want to have dog breath. I want to learn to growl. Grrr. Scratch fleas and ticks and run after sticks. I want the moon to make me howl. Arr, 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 arr. Oh, I want to be a dog. 
I want to sleep on the ground. I've been human these days, getting too crazy. Just want to be a hound. I've been human these days, getting too crazy. I just want to be a hound. Thank you, folks. Thanks, folks.